me get the sound effects. You feel me? Do, do, do. We in this hole. Back like we never left. In this hole like never before. We got the setup. You feel me? Episode twenty five. Episode. Oh yeah, we were supposed to dress up. This this supposed to be the Halloween episode. Oh my god. Yes. We completely forgot. I'm but so yeah. sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. We motherfucking back. We Welcome back, back like to we episode 25 of the Off the Lick podcast. We done made it so fucking far. Bro, 25 you know episodes. I mean? That's 25, 25 fucking episodes. You feel me? That's 25 weeks plus. Niggas ain't, niggas ain't fucking with us right now. It's okay. But Somebody anyways, will. man. Dead man music video dropping in three days. You feel me? October 30th. I'm going to be at Diamond Gems. You feel me? Turning that bitch up. You got anything before we start? I don't know uh, when <laughs> the music video I um, was just in is dropping. But when it do, I'll let y'all know. Yeah, man. It's October. We come in close to Christmas and the New Year's time and shit. You feel me? It's been an amazing journey this whole year. We done gathered 25 episodes. Wait, what month we started in? We started in Jan. No, 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 no. I don't think it was January. It was January because I was on leave at that time. I took on leave in January, and I remember I had the long. January. I had the long nails. It couldn't have been January. Was it December? It had to be earlier this year, like April or February. Probably February was the first um, episode. Yeah, man. First episode, you feel me? We doing new things. You see the new setup and shit. You know, we trying to get better and better with what we the content that we providing you guys. So make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and Period. we gonna keep coming with that fire. You feel me? Fire. But yeah, without further ado, let's let's start the show. On the floor for the sleep, I can't fight it. Locked in my mood, I feel like I'm indicted. Heart turning cold, and I think that I like it. Look at my drip, got these holes all inside it. They tried to kill me, the fire ignited, and I. Be the and we back with a uh, smooth ass episode of yes, Off the Lake Podcast, the episode twenty five. Man, we over here trying to do it. You feel me? Shout Bro, out to In the Cut Studios, man. Shout out to them niggas, man. But yeah, we in this hole. But without further ado. We're going to go ahead and okay. let Lizzie with the glizzy take us with the first topic because we off, off the lick. lick. Don't say it directly in because, you know. It was loud? Yeah. I felt like mine was lower than yours. I felt like you were screaming. Because we off, off the, the lick, <laughs> man. Okay. Um, Let's see it. Hold on. Oh, wait, we got to yeah, take our fucking shots in our he, unmarked fucking water bottle. These are, we made these water bottles, so we, y'all can't even try oh, to man. take this. <laughs> Bruh, you know <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so scared. You didn't just, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying that shit was some weird ass shit. That shit was me? like pop, <laughs> pop, pop, pop. That's what she said. <laughs> Not to you, cow. Come on, let's get it. Oh, I did you need me to hold it so Why you can I? open the other one, but it's already open. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. I tell y'all every episode, bro. Chill, bro. <laughs> Your shit didn't pop, so you shook my shit up. You tried to set me up. <laughs> Your she tried to set me bro. up for a blooper, y'all. <laughs> Nobody thinks you about you that much. <laughs> she tried to set me up. She poured this. She orchestrated this whole thing. Oh, we used the big word. <laughs> I'm going to do what he do and see if it makes it. Because we it, it don't make a difference I promise It do If you know how to that do shit, it That shit was, If you know how to do it That shit tastes like Death Anyways, <laughs> Slowly slithering man. down my throat That's Whoa. not what she said to you At all Nobody in, in your lifetime Whoa. Has ever said that to you <laughs> Or made you feel that way <laughs> Or you man. made them feel that way rather 
calm down. Bro, shut up. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Queen down. Queen down. <laughs> Don't do drugs, people. I keep telling y'all niggas that shit. But yeah, go ahead with the first topic. <laughs> All right. Go bro. ahead and get us with that first tis hoppy. Let's see. What do I want to talk about today? Okay, so, you know, actually, okay, so. Um, this was already like covered on like a different podcast, but I feel like we <laughs> talk about a lot of things that other people on their podcast are talking about, but we just don't know. But I actually know this time. But anyways, you know what I mean? <laughs> Nigga, no. What the fuck are you talking you about? You know, like we all of our topics in the past, I'm sure other podcasters have touched on those topics. Oh, yeah. I'm course. saying this specific and we just don't know that they have unless we okay. win. But I'm saying this specific topic that I'm about to say is another. I know another podcaster has touched on this because I watched it. Uh, I so it was it was the one. I don't think I sent it. to I, I did send it to you, but I don't know which one I sent to you. But anyways. It was basically a forum that basically stated that the the white man it was a white man who was married to a black man uh, a black woman sorry white man black woman and they had a daughter together obviously she's mixed but because you know black jeans can be very very strong her hair came out in his opinion nappy obviously that's disrespectful to refer to a black woman's hair mix anybody mixed with black anything as nappy like it's disrespectful right. but the point is so he basically came onto this forum i'm not going to state the forum i'm not going to state the podcasters uh because no copyrights but um i do give one props though T- check out tiktok if you want to know who i'm talking about and i'm gonna just describe the story but anyways just get to the point I, anyways nigga. i'm gonna describe the story uh anyways so he basically was stating like oh am i an asshole um because my wife who's black has always taken care of our daughter's hair and my wife went out of town and uh my my daughter hair hasn't hadn't been done in like two three days so he he the white man texts his white his white mother she's a mother but she's a white woman i'm not racist i'm just stating the story but anyways text her and she suggested that the the mother suggested that he take his daughter after like 13 years or some some whatever um her hair being naturally trained take her to go get a perm didn't con- con- didn't consult with his wife didn't nothing she knew nothing about it so he when um when the wife got back she was like she was so angry he was like he didn't understand why she was angry like it's just here and in his opinion she actually looks cute now what what kind yes you are an asshole yeah yeah you're you're an asshole but i'm gonna state my i just that's that's the period of it i just wanted to tell you that but how i feel about that and um let's see how i feel about that is that it's not up to you to decide when it comes down to women's hair in general regardless of race it's not up to no man to decide that but to be her father and not consult with your wife who is the mother of y'all child and you decided to go consult with your white mother who has no idea of what it feels or even can even like begin to grasp the idea of having anything close to black hair and you ask her for her opinion and then you turn around and you don't understand why your wife your wife the woman you married and had a baby with is upset that you went behind her back after 13 years of seeing her not put no fucking bad chemicals in her hair and then put chemicals in her hair and you just don't understand that like i don't even understand how that was a a topic i don't even understand why he wrote that and like i don't think I hope in your mind or his mind, he didn't think that he was going to get any like positive like feedback because nothing about what he did was positive. Like that's just how I feel about it. That shit pissed me off because the only time that pissed me off because I just feel like a lot of men and I'm not sexist, but a lot of men, when it comes down to certain things, they do without thinking. And it goes the same for women, but in this particular, but a specific situation when it comes down to like daughters and stuff or like children like men just it's a it's oblivious to them like um i'm just not all I men like, I, obviously not all men nothing's gonna always be one group of people it's always gonna be 
you know, a probability of fucking seven out of ten of those people. But still, it's not all men, but it's a lot of men who who don't communicate. It, it's, that's a simple communication. Had she not responded, you had waited those two, three days and no response went back. And then you went to your mother. OK, it could be a little bit justifiable, just a little bit. But at least you did talk to your wife and you just didn't hear it back. But that's a big fucking thing. Like, that is a major deal. I don't know. I wouldn't... I don't know how it feels when I did that to my daughter's hair. Okay, so what's the question again? So how, I can... Uh, the question is, how do you feel about that? His, his question was, does that make him an asshole? Uh... To... Does it make him an asshole to, to do that behind his wife's back and not understand why she's upset? And to now refer to his, his, his mixed baby as cute now as if she wasn't cute before i don't really care man now nah, i'm just playing <laughs> uh so uh yeah as far as like you know him that does make him an asshole um for taking her to get a perm when she probably he didn't really consult with the other parent or whatever but I don't really under like I don't really know what else I'm supposed to say. It's the the reason why for me it was just such a like big deal is because I was reading a lot of the comments and a lot of people made a good good points. Like it's one thing you could have taken her to the hairdresser and say, Hey, can you fix my daughter's hair? Um, without the perm. Like or did your research. Your mom tell you to do something, you just do it. You don't look it up and see how damaging it can be to black women's hair. Like, for me, black people in general, like, even when males do it and get a perm, like, it's cute, but then your hair is damaged. Like, it's just deeper. It's just a basic communication. Like, I feel like that was just so disrespectful, and it's just, like, how how you just are not validating your, your wife's feelings is just, it's a no. Like, I do feel like it's lame for, like, uh, the men or the females to, like, involve their parents in their relationship. Exactly. I feel like you overstepping boundaries when you do that mm-hmm. and you're not necessarily respecting the other exactly you know your counterpart now getting advice that's something different exactly. but once you start like you acting know on acting on certain shit and you didn't consult the other party it's that's basically a sign of disrespect yeah so my takeaway from that is yeah he was wrong for cutting her hair or whatever but at the same time like how you going like just listen to your mom over your wife but i guess he wasn't feeling it either and i guess they didn't talk about it i don't know but, i don't know fuck him he don't gotta do his her hair he do not have to do his daughter's hair he hadn't been doing it that's why he was fucking clueless that shit does not affect him at all he just wanted to feel like he was in control for once you know how much other shit you can control and i then, don't think i don't think i think a lot of times when a man does something the woman always try to feel like Oh, he's challenging her power. He's trying to be too powerful and all this shit. That's the same thing with this social media culture. Where we probably going to get in later. It's the same thing. Like, every time you step out and, like, let's say maybe he did make up. Make up. He honestly fucked up, right? He probably wasn't thinking of it like that. He just probably, okay, this looks nappy to me. Da, da, da. He probably not cultured enough. So he probably is just like, yeah, this looks nappy. So when do you this learn one. about the culture before you have a fucking baby? You dating Man, a... What do you really? mean? If you was to go and date someone, let's just say you was going to go date like a, a Dominican or something or a Haitian or someone, and they have specific things, even Indian women, and you went to go date one of them. Sometimes. It's disrespectful. Sometimes, sometimes whether it's planned or not planned, you focused on that person. You don't know what their situation is, and are they still together? It's, it, their relationship status after the fact does not matter. It does so not take away from what happened. why are we talking about what people? This is a story. This is a story that that represents the communication, the lack of communication that when making give. major. No, that both parties give. It just just because the story is based off of what a man did and his lack of communication, that does not mean that this is specifically against men. This is a general. This can look oh, okay. at, be looked at as a general thing. It's that okay. lack of communication in a relationship with major 
things. This is a big deal. This isn't. That's like going to enroll your your fucking child in. And this is maybe dramatic, but it's <laughs> it's, it's those important. You finna say some stupid. You no, say it's, some wild shit. no, going to enroll your fucking child into a school and didn't even consult it with the party. And but because to you that school sounded like a good idea, your fucking significant other could have had reasons why they didn't want their 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 child to go to that school. It's the same thing with hair. It could be reasons why all of these years, all of these years. Even though the perm exists all of these fucking years, even when she was a child, she's never used one. There could be one, but that lack of communication. So, okay, what what was the wife feeling after this happened? So, uh, the, the based off of his comment uh, or his whatever, he said that she was very, very, very upset. Like because he said nappy, or no, because, because he, went and got he her permed shit her hair and didn't didn't say nothing to nothing. And they talked it out, right? It don't. It don't say nothing about this. Forums don't work like that. So I'm pretty sure they probably, and this is just me going off the whim, just like you was. I'm gonna say probably they talked about it. And she explained to him after the fact, but he still probably didn't get it. But he probably accepted it. Like, okay, I don't get it, but you that's probably why it was on the forum. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. She you was don't pissed get off it. about this. It's not. It's he nothing. Probably to not get. cultured. It's not about the culture. It's sim- simply if he would have just communicated, just communicated and be like, "Hey, babe, like, what what do I do with her hair? You're not here." She could have said, "Babe, why she didn't put it in a ponytail?" Or or take it to take her to the hair salon and ask them to. And she would have told him wash, condition, blow dry, make sure they do not use any chemicals. And she probably said no perms. She probably said it's okay to straighten her hair if you want her hair straightened because you can use heat protectant and straighten the person's hair. That communication it has nothing to do with being culture. It's about respecting your significant other and being watchful of what they do and what they don't do. From what I'm understanding, I don't feel like the nigga intentionally decided to be disrespectful. I feel like he was not cultured enough and he didn't fucking know. Mm, and he so just sad. went out and did some shit, you know, in his household. If they still together, they probably still together. They probably talked about it, you know, and they probably moved on. You know, I actually had a couple of females stop me and we were talking. And it's so crazy how much this podcast has grown. But they said, Lizzie, if you were on the show, I wouldn't watch it. I said why wow no just for real listen because it's a it's a real thing and i've been telling if y'all you since were day on one, the show if, if you weren't if i was not on the show oh <laughs> and um and i said why and they said because um you just how is it like always being around with niggas all the time and i said you know what niggas you know guys are de- they're definitely gonna have their pants i can't tell them like oh you're wrong but i'm definitely gonna come out here and i'm gonna represent I'm going to fucking speak up and speak the truth. So, yes, I say that. I said all of that because of your comment. You said you don't feel like he his intentions were to be disrespectful. Your intentions, and that's when you kind of contradict yourself because you say it's disrespectful to go and consult with your mother. So, you already acknowledged that disrespect. But then now you're turning around and say it's not disrespectful. His actions were disrespectful because he didn't consult with the wife first, then go to the mother. He brought his mother into a situation that the wife had no idea about. That's disrespectful. I feel like the nigga didn't try to be disrespectful. He probably just didn't know what the fuck. So why didn't he? Why he didn't, didn't he hit her, his wife up? He's not married to I his mother. I don't know. I'm not him. Are you going to hit up your wife or are you going to hit up your mother first? My wife. Okay, but you're married, huh? Yeah. It's common sense, huh? Has nothing to do with culture, nothing to do with skin. I mean, color, some nothing. people are not like me. When it comes down and to you your children, when it comes down to your children, it's much deeper than the two people involved. It's about your child and what's in the best interest of that child. Your parents have nothing to do with that until you talk to your significant other about y'all shared child. The but one that she popped out her fucking pussy. The one that she was in labor and fucking Whoa. delivery for. The one that she carried for fucking goddamn nine months. <laughs> the one that she wakes up every fucking goddamn day and do her daughter's hair. That's the one you consult with. Not the goddamn mother who just be on the other end listening to you complain about whatever the fuck you complain to her about. That's not who you consult. That's where the disrespect is. Because you don't fucking... People are married. And people are in relationships. And people don't even know the basic, basic, basic steps and instructions to be married. It is number one. Fuck loyalty. Fuck 
like loyalty, honestly, all of that. I ain't gonna say fuck loyalty. No, no, listen to what I'm saying. All of that matters. Like, trust me, you cannot have a good relationship without honesty and loyalty <laughs> and being trustworthy. But that communication, you can have all of those shit underneath here. That communication will kill any relationship. I promise you, you can have the most honest, most trustworthy person. But if they do not fucking communicate, what's the point of being trustworthy? They can't communicate. They don't know how to communicate. How? What's the point? Um, that lack of communication it, it leaves your mind to do too much thinking it leaves the human to have to fill in these fucking gaps on oh okay well this is what they meant or this is what they're trying to say no nigga communicate open your mouth i'm sorry i that feel shit. like that man just didn't know what the fuck he was doing at the time okay but. well ladies this is why i'm on the show because i want to give that woman perspective because a lot of you know, and that's why he's obviously on the show too to give the male perspective. There are probably like a fucking over like a quarter. It's of probably fucking like some who, niggas that agree with you, yeah. but I'm just saying it's probably some females that agree with me, and it's probably some. I niggas promise that, you, I'm, no female will ever agree with you. Not no black female. I promise you. I promise you, you can call any black female on your, your phone friends. and explain it. Hell no. Hell no. When okay. it comes down to our fucking here and how most of us growing up because of the, the fucking like idea and the fucking uh, image that they had on black women, we all, for the most part, had to have a perm at one point in our life. And that t- took away from us actually naturally getting involved with our hair and loving our hair. So our option was already taken away from us. So if you're asking a fucking black woman as an adult who has her hair natural, I promise you she would not fucking agree with you. Agree with me about what? What did I say? About how his actions were not disrespectful and how it didn't even feel. I didn't say that. What'd you say? You said you feel like that nigga didn't intentionally disrespect his wife. Yeah, I feel like he just probably didn't fucking know. Didn't understand culture. So when you intentionally, uh, your wife is, you know, she doesn't know where you are. You're you're out with your friends and you unintentionally don't uh, communicate with her. And she doesn't know where the fuck you are, what the fuck you're doing. But she, you know, you can communicate with her. But she hit up your mother and your mother know where the fuck you are. That's not disrespectful. Come on now. You're disrespecting the whole fucking marriage. You're not communicating. You're choosing not to communicate with your wife. You could have told your wife where you was and your mother. What, why? Why couldn't you tell them both? I think that's a completely different circumstance. And I think we're just running around in circles. Okay. Well, I but, mean, I feel how I feel. He felt how he feel. It's not disrespectful to him. It's disrespectful to me. If you say so. Anyways, let's move on to the next topic because we off, off the, the lick, lick, man. Hold on. What the fuck? I had to play the crickets because you was just kind of going on your little tangent. It sounded like you got mad, but I ain't going to get mad with you. You feel I mean, me? I respect you. I just you, can't wait till you have I a daughter. Gone. I can't wait till you have a daughter so you can understand uh, that. No time soon. But and it's not about time. I didn't, say, I didn't say nothing about no hair or no shit like that, so I don't know. What you were talking about, but okay. okay. Let's go ahead and take these shots. I was specifically talking about the man actions. And I said when a child is involved, it's different. And when I said when you have a daughter, you'll understand it has nothing to do with her hair. Is if your wife makes decisions without you about your daughter, your that shit's gonna be like, What the fuck? That shit is going I to I think be that's what with anybody though. So that's where the disrespect you're you're gonna I can't make you understand. You kept talking about miscommunication. You jumping around, so you I really didn't not talk about miscommunication. There was no miscommunication. There was a lack of communication. That's a difference. What? Oh, wow. Okay. Miscommunication hey, is hey. us speaking, and it's just it was a miscommunication, like that ordeal that you and I had. That was a miscommunication. A lack of communication is. Oh, I'm not even going to say a lack of communication is simply just not speaking to the other person. Not the other person don't know. That's a lack of communicate communicating. All right, y'all. Let's get these shots, man. Look it up. Look at the definition. If y'all say I'm wrong, shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Why are you laughing? Huh? Why are you laughing? Oh, that shit was so nasty. Man, we back, man. You feel From me? From that death, deadly shit. What is it? Oh yeah, deadly shot. That fatal shot. See what I did there? That uh liquid courage. That uh what was I finna call it? I forgot. You so drunk, you don't know. But my topic was Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the background on it, right? You know who Delante West is, right? I have no idea. He's a former basketball player. Delante? 
Delonte West. He's a former basketball player, and he was in the NBA making millions. To this day and age, to the, to this day, he's homeless. Mm. He's like crazy, and he's on drugs. Mm. And just the other day, he was having a dispute with cops. Saying, oh, I'm better than LeBron James. I was better than fucking uh, Michael Jordan and all this other shit. And it's just sad to just, like, see cops, like, having to subdue him and take him to jail because of mental illness, right? hmm So, me saying that, I'm like, what besides drugs could possibly bring a perfectly sane person to being mentally, like, un- like?" Not right. What is your opinion? My opinion I'm is. I'm gonna say, what's your opinion? My opinion is obviously the drugs, but I feel like it had to be something traumatic or something more than just the drugs, bro. To make him homeless, bro. Not only to make well, him homeless, but to make him crazy in the head. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. Drugs will make somebody crazy in the head. I guess I don't know. I ain't never did no drugs, but. How he is, bro. They say he was banging on the police, like uh, the police station door, yelling crazy shit, talking shit, yelling slurs and shit, just like on some crazy shit. And I'm just like, bro, what what could drive <clears throat> a completely sane person crazy like this? It's a lot. <laughs> Bro, this nigga is like It's a lot It's a lot This, this nigga is literally not it's okay a, It's a lot like, Look at uh, Simone um, Biles Bowles Simone Bowles You know what I'm talking about? Nah The famous gymnast, gymnast, gymnast who dropped out of the uh, The black gymnast who dropped out of the world ch- uh, Whatever it's called the, oh, I think I know who he's. What is that thing? The big, the know. Olympics. Know. She dropped. Know. She dropped out of Olympus, Olympus due to like mental health issues, and I was just watching a little clip from her the other day, and she said, like every day you have to get up and you have to tell yourself like you're strong enough to do this, like everything's okay, and then one day you just go spiraling out of control with all this stuff that you just been that's been telling you yourself that it's okay. I, got I, it. I understand like a momentary like you, you just snap on somebody or something like just like on some like. Man, I've just been holding all this shit in. You got me fucked up, blah, 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 blah. But this nigga is, like, really, like, not okay in the head. My question is, was he probably not okay in the head this whole time and nobody paid attention to it because he played basketball? But then I think about it, no. He was in the NBA for years. He wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, he was, like, this, like, this crazy you know what I mean? I wish you know. All you see him do is play. You see him do organized, freaking scripted, freaking interviews. Like, how would you know? You scripted you don't interviews. Know. I don't Every, think interviews are scripted. Okay, but well, okay. everything beyond a certain point. Not saying everything that he's ever done has been scripted, but majority of the formal things that he's probably has done is scripted. And not when I say scripted, I mean that um, even if he wrote it, it's still up there in front of him. That's what I mean. Mm, like, I don't mean, mm. like, he's just free. Like, that's what I mean. That's why I tell people, if you are completely sane and you get diagnosed with some type of mental disorder, do not take that medication. Because literally, well, if you need it, then I'm obviously. I'm say, it goes both ways. Because some people, If you need it, they need but if it. you... F- because I feel like a lot of people get misdiagnosed and then they take their medicine That's and start going crazy. That's because people go to one doctor. And that was actually a big topic at one point. People so it's say he, he's battling with he's battling with bipolar disorder. So I'm just thinking like maybe what if he was taking that medication thinking that it was something else and, and that medication could be one of the reasons. So the medication yeah, probably shit. won't cause you to have any other type of um, won't be the cause alone uh, to make It'll you It'll throw be, your chemical balance up. It could, you know, those side effects that they tell you about, it could heighten those side effects, which then can lead into another serious mental health issue. Bruh, that shit crazy. So if, say, if the medicine you was taking, right, it was to help keep you calm, but the suicide, uh, you know, it has a chance to make you have suicidal thoughts, 
if a person who was constantly taking it and already priorly like they already had suicidal thoughts prior but because they was misdiagnosed and now they fucking suicidal thoughts are really heightened that shit you know how I many every day sitting in the fucking NBA you probably trying to commit yourself not to c- kill yourself so you can do this I'm that saying and third? about niggas taking that medicine I, I don't believe like it's some people with mental illnesses that need medication bro it's some people that really need it then there's some people that don't need med- medication there's some people that can just really like you know do other things other than medication so yeah don't take that medication if you don't f- I don't want to say if you don't feel like you don't need it because then somebody that probably need it would be listening to this like oh I don't need it either like you know what I mean <laughs> stop taking it Bro. my boy Emery said I could stop taking it no, why you talking like, why you say that why are you talking like that how did I talk Bro, that's fucked up, bro. You going to hell? Okay, see you there. I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyways, nah, bro. That's like we we all heard how she said that. <laughs> and then we also know that I pretty much when I imitate him, I'll pretty much always talk like that every episode. Nah, bro. But that's okay. She going because to hell. we gonna run it back because this nigga smirking. always. Why are you smiling? This nigga, oh, Why are you smiling? <laughs> if you'll let me talk, this nigga swears <laughs> like. He always get caught slipping, saying some shit. People always got police him. So the moment there's like even like a he like that's cap. <laughs> that's cap people. Go oh, yeah. What you gonna say? This is me looking at them. That's cap. People always policing him, and I don't care what the police say. Everybody, everybody tell him shut the fuck up. I'm just joking. Sure. But what I'm basically saying is, I don't even fucking know what I'm saying anymore, but I do agree with him. Like, bro, like, before you take these medications, right? Even if you know you need medication, right? Do your research. Just because they went to school and they can fucking prescribe you that. Let me tell you something. Doctors, they are they get in contracts with these billion dollar uh, pharmaceutical companies. And they freaking have to, you know, prescribe a certain amount to meet that quota for that contract. Not all doctors, not all hospitals, but that is a very common thing. So just think about that. When you get prescribed the medication a little bit too soon, after they just do one fucking test, they do a blood test and they tell you you fucking crazy. Uh, maybe need a second fucking opinion. <laughs> they do a blood test. And <laughs> they're like, you, oh, you got this. They make some shit up or something, or it's some shit. Or it's some shit that's in a, a something else. Just basically my point is do your research. Like if you feel like you okay and you don't have split personality disorder, don't take that diagnosis. Go to another mental health pro- professional and see what they say. And if they say that too, you might have to try a third one. And if they all saying that, then boo, you, you probably do. And, you, and that medication might work for you. My conspiracy theory is that this nigga probably wasn't crazy. He probably had anger issues or whatever. They diagnosed him with bipolar and he started taking that fucking medication. Because it's a female that I know. She was perfectly fine. The bitch started taking that bipolar medication and she has never been the same since. And if she was on this show, she'll tell you that she needs that medication to not spass all the way the fuck out. Who, oh, uh, and I'm just like, you know? yo, yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it, with these people taking this fucking medication. If you feel like you all right don't and not the niggas it. that's really retarded, but the niggas that's that feel. That's kind of mean when we talk about mental health. Huh? <laughs> Why you call people retarded? Nah, not retarded. Mental health issues. The people that really got mental health issues. If you really got mental health issues, bro, and then you need to take it. But if you're not, bro, don't take that bullshit, nigga. But. Yes, agreed 100%, but do your research first, no matter what. Any fucking, man, even out of mental health, bro, when it comes down to your health, your overall well-being, do your research. Don't just take one opinion because, yes, they're an expert, but they don't always have your best interests at heart. Just saying. I'm yeah. talking about the, like, healthcare providers and stuff. Like, the system in general. Like, you can Google topics like this and see that people have been mis- misdiagnosed all the time. That's true. Well, let's go ahead and move to the next topic. You feel me? Because we, we off, off the league, man. I don't even know how that got to because we off the league. Because I actually was about to say, because um, we're going to the next topic. But it's just, I don't even know. Because I said, because we off the league. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> I was like, how did that go hand in hand? What are you saying, T? 
keep like you can't clean it up, it is, nigga. But it's okay if you spill some shit. Man, be quiet. This you ain't worry about everything. It's you clean it up. No, you clean it up. I am gonna clean it up. I'm Come on, saying let's get it. It can be cleaned up. Ooh. Ooh. I got a badass migraine today. I don't even feel like arguing with Lizzie today. Ain't nothing. Y'all see the shit I let her slide with today? Please, man. She done said some crazy you shit. Said he, you said he. feel me? He, y'all don't you know. You feel me? This but probably I'm, the but safest I'm episode a, for him. He, I'm being nice today. No, he's trying to be safe. I'm being nice. He, he trying to be safe. Safe from who? <laughs> Lizzie, you drunk. And that's always <laughs> Lizzie. You're drunk. Go, go, go. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Lizzie gonna take the next tear noppy. That is so nasty. That's what she said. I didn't <clears throat> recommend Honey Jab. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to say that. You said what? Oh, nah. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah. That evil juice. I mean, I don't recommend drinks like that. Like, not saying that that's what we're drinking, because of course not. <laughs> you would have to be Why here to find be? out exactly what's in our cup or exactly. bottles. Ooh. Okay, so oh, my mouth. That's what she said. In case she to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what's um? I really didn't come prepared. I should have come prepared, but all right, let's see. Yeah. This. It's how much she care about the viewers, y'all. That's so mean. Don't say that. She don't give a fuck about y'all niggas, man. She ain't even come prepared for a show. This show pretty much an argument. <laughs> so this shit a argument like a hoe. Okay. Alright, I gave you enough time. Go ahead. What the fuck? I gave you enough time, motherfucker. I played a little a little selection, a little jam for the people. What the fuck type of thing? Okay, first of all, you know, these are really good questions that and I do want to ask you some and I just want to see. So your opinion on them. And I'll get my okay, papers. Are we playing the question game? Yeah, but these are actually like really good fucking questions, like all right for sure so the first one is why is it so hard to be on time for people who have an issue with being on time like myself uh people don't prioritize yes. you you on time for what you want to what you want to do so if somebody told you hey we celebrating time. we celebrating you today come at this time or we just gonna cancel it you don't pull up it's all about what you prioritize you know I actually, um, I'm never on time. Um, I'm okay. I'm rarely on time. I, I had definitely have been on time for certain things, but for me, um, I have ADHD and I have like OCD. So, um, my mind goes like a million, like minutes per hour, if that's possible. And so I, that's not possible. A million <laughs> minutes per hour, but go ahead but my whole point is i get very very caught up in something that when it comes down to doing what i was supposed to do so for example right uh with me with work right if someone needs me to help out with work and i know i can help out and i know i still have like an hour into like an appointment but i have high hopes that this thing is only going to take whatever long because i'm helping someone out i'm going to help them out in turn that might make me and you know unintentionally late to my appointment so it's the it's i'm just it's not about prioritizing for me but it's more so of my want to do everything i can in a limited time even though i know that i can't and i think that that's like if you are out there and you have like um, any type of form of adhd or any level or whatnot you could understand what i'm talking about so yeah <laughs> But I'm never on time. But I, I swear, I'm never on time. Like I can give you guys so many freaking examples. Like I was, I had my makeup and everything ready to go out with my friends. Literally ready, picked out my outfit. Guess what? Put on my, <laughs> put on the outfit, and it just, it wasn't it. And so what? Did, what happened then? 
it looked good together on the bed but when it came down to putting it on it just didn't work and so now i had to go find another outfit so now boop 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 i had to all turn on on all the clothes i had to redo my makeup well touch it up and then my hair and then it just things like that like shit just don't be playing like mind you i was working all the way up until that point like i wasn't just chilling i was working and i was like oh but i'm good i already got my makeup on so i'm gonna be cool crazy i got a question what's up if somebody gifted you a million dollars what's the first thing you would buy if someone gifted me a million dollars what would be the first thing that i would buy you know and everybody's gonna probably be like oh my god like you know you're just trying to fit in with the fucking world or whatever but i would really i seen this one thing and i thought it's so cool uh where someone like bought this little community for like homeless people um and it'll have like water and shit where they can shower and stuff like that and they're like little homes and stuff so people with families who are like homeless can go and stay there and obviously there's going to be like a screening uh like thing that you go to like you probably can't have been using drugs for like the last six months or something like that but i would love to do that like to kind of give back to the community in that sense Mm. that or uh put into like crypto and like triple the money and then like pull it out speaking of crypto make sure y'all niggas Fucking go get some Shiba Inu. I'm about that to shit get going Shiba. up. I need to get you Shiba. You ain't got that shit? No. Bro, you I'm sleep. getting it right Let now. Me, hello, hold my on, brother, hold I, on. my brother's been talking to me about this since hold I went on. home in August. Yes, this nigga texted me. Not, bro, you yes. You stupid for not fuck, listening bro. to that nigga, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's, I'm gonna do it right now. Look, look, look. Let me show you something. Let me tell you about the crypto. Let me show you. Though. Let me show you how I'm out here winning. You feel me? Hold up. Don't be telling the Hold people. Hold up. I'm not gonna tell nobody. But real quick, let me tell y'all something about this crypto app. This is my, <sighs> not sponsored. Stop! Don't distract me. I told you I got ADHD. Okay, Fucking my don't bad. Do that. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh my god. Um, something about the crypto app. Um, fuck. Uh, the, how the crypto app I love the crypto app Like even if you don't Have anything invested It literally has Every fucking form Of crypto on here Even if you can't Fucking invest to it And you can look At the fucking shit So I like crypto It's uh, This is not sponsored I just want to let you know That you should get crypto Download it Any crypto app Nigga Y'all niggas need to Get invested in get crypto, crypto Nigga Cause I'm Oh this is how I bought it before When I had um, This is good This how much oh. Hold on This how much I made and it's just sitting there. The number under there. How much did you invest in originally? So I can know how much I invest. Nah, you too late now. No, I know I'm too late. But look, 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 no, how much? Go back to what you just said. 18. Is that million? And this is 70. That's 70. Oh, 7 million. But yeah, man, we trying to get y'all niggas paid out here. You feel me? You feel me? I just showed Lizzie straight up. You know, I ain't going to advocate nothing that I ain't doing. You feel me? Lizzie know I'm out here winning. You feel me? You know? So we out here, man. Make sure y'all niggas invest. You feel me? But go ahead. What would you do with a million? Well, I guess she already told me so. Yeah. Okay. I think this is good to start with. But you, yeah, you paying way more than I did. I mean, but think about it. (laughs) Turn me up, baby. If it go up, that's how I felt with fucking Doge. I I bought in when Doge was. Yeah, like you, you see up. how it is now. You fucked up. You need to listen to niggas sometime. You, you see how it is now. Mine was at twenty eight though. This is at fifty. So I am winning. I Windows, feel it. I so. feel it. But hey, look, bro. I'm telling y'all niggas, uh, invest in right Shiba now. Inu, man. Invest in that shit, nigga. Why not? I don't. Cause have I swear to God, it. when y'all when y'all come back to this podcast, like, hey, Emery, I listen. <laughs> what <laughs> what happened bro <laughs> i'm like I, what happened oh were, okay I okay like, i got it, I got it, I got what it. Happened? but yeah man hey so the first thing i would do when i if i got a meal is buy myself a crib buy myself a little crib you know what i'm saying go sit somewhere hey how much how much you just buy a million yeah i'm gonna show you something 
I mean, I didn't buy it yet, so tell me before I buy it if it's a good thing. It's how much I paid for seven million. Less than you paying for money. I mean, but we bought it at two different you times. You feel me? It don't you matter feel how many, me? It don't yeah. matter how many times you... You know how much how cheap I bought Doge for? But it's yeah, cheaper than anyways. pretty much anybody. It don't matter. It's, it matters that I'm buying it now. My brother been telling me about this for... But yeah, uh, yeah. fuck, my bad, y'all. We we got distracted because we off, off the leg. But yeah, we sorry, y'all, man. Let's put our phones down, man. No, we I, we they watching us fucking be on our fucking phone and shit. But yeah, anyway, they so. should be doing it with us. Y'all should be shit. If I pull my shit out, y'all should pull your shit out. Nah, let's, we we, let's we get respect y'all. Together. We thank y'all. We thank y'all for watching. You feel me? We do. But respect what I would do? Y'all. What I would do with my first meal? First thing I do is I will buy me a crib down outright. Just buy me a crib. That way, if I ever do anything, I'm never going homeless because I got me somewhere to lay my head at night. First, that's the very first thing I'm doing. Now, people, people want to do other shit. I'm going to buy this car. I'm going to do this. Nah, nigga. I'm taking care of me, making sure I ain't never slacking. Then I might help somebody else. But as far as like all the other shit, if somebody gave me a million dollars right now, I swear to God, I just buy myself a crib. And then... Yeah, we gonna flip that shit from there. I think after every, uh, I think during every paycheck, I'm just talking gonna to put, the mic. Every paycheck, I think I'm gonna just keep putting like more and more in. Yeah, man. All right, so telling you, man. I just invested into you it, me. and I really you hope you guys me. are doing it too because you know this is definitely just like crypto is definitely the future. Like we, we we know this by now. I hope that you guys know that by now. Look. Okay, okay. My motherfucking nigga Lizzy with the glizzy. Out here, man, doing her thing. You feel me? So when it's all on sun and set and done, can you show me how to work this? I got you. Okay. I got my crypto app. I'm my crypto card in my car and I, I have had crypto for months. Fuck. Okay, okay. For I don't know why you waiting. But I'm gonna put you down. I have bought it for you. a specific reason, but we're not even gonna talk about that. Let's Mm. Uh, okay, back into these questions though. My nose is itching because this hair is on. No, nah, we just asking questions. So you you cheating? You getting your questions off the website? I'm getting my shit straight out the grizzle. You feel me? Well, well, I just I like these questions. So I, they said, "Why do black people look at your shoes before they greet you?" <laughs> because it tells us like what you value, what you value more, like. Cause I ain't gonna lie, um, if I'm talking to a female, right, and she got some dusty ass sketchers on, I'm gonna be like, nah, bro, I can't talk to her. She don't even like, um, care about. <laughs> she don't care about the energy she give out in the world. You feel me? Exactly. You you don't care about the the or like, I, don't, I ain't gonna care, bro. <coughs> I don't want to say me. that. All right. I know where you're going with this because I did have like a pair of dingy like Adidas. No, I was not. No, on, not baby, you. Now I'm not baby. talking about. I'm not talking about baby. you. I'm trying Come to. Come on, man, dab me up, bro. No, what are you doing? Listen. No, I'm just saying. I'm just just to make sure you know. Okay, so I did have a dingy pair of sneakers, but I do agree with with him. Like certain things, like I'm, you can be free and do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear, wherever you want to wear it. But when if when you know if you're trying to like impress or whatever dress to impress come on now like you know and you ain't even got to dress to impress just dress with some pride like if i step out and i know i'm going somewhere i might at least try to push for some it's been a couple Mm -hmm. times i can't even lie it's been a couple times i've just been lazy but you didn't go out with no you're not gonna let them get dusty intentionally not intentionally (laughs) but i have went out with some dusty shoes on i do got some dusty shoes somewhere in the crib but i'm just saying and if anybody want to buy some retros off me, hit me up, nigga. They mid You're condition, you feel me? You feel me? But yeah. Not my size, so you can't help me. My question to you is Oh, what's the. Oh, so to answer that question, I, oh, don't, my bad. I don't know why people do that. Like, um, I mean, I understand why people do that because, it, like you said, it just definitely tells a lot about, you know where your your intentions are for sure now Give your question me. to me huh your my question, question to you is where is the craziest place you had sex 
the craziest place like the craziest place in my car that not is that crazy that ain't crazy at all nigga um in my car in my bed oh my god in someone else's bed like on the couch like weird buddy you're weird what do you mean crazy but like like in a nasty da- dusty ass brat bathroom or some no, shit or like nigga, a public like place? the craziest place you had sex in. like or on on the beach where you can get sand and, and especially in virginia with them fucking crap that night what, what are you talking about <laughs> i was not talking about nothing like that people i don't know what there's she's... crabs little baby crabs that'll snip your feet in virginia on the beaches that night when okay I was so the craziest place you had sex with i was in your car. I, yeah it was in my car Okay, well, I'm gonna play it safe too. Then, what you mean, uh, play it safe? That's where the <laughs> fuck that's crazy to me. It's crazy because I pay rent in my house and I had sex in my car. <laughs> that's crazy. The craziest place I had sex is at my girl's parents' house. That's the craziest place. How I mean, I guess I'm playing crazy. it safe. Okay, and you probably was fucking in one of the Walmart aisles. <laughs> Y'all know that shit wasn't funny. <laughs> it's funny uh-huh. to be. <laughs> the devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Be hot. Come on with the next question. I mean, stupid what? bitch. You stupid bitch. Okay, I'm sorry. That was That's my shit. So the next question, question is... Why are... You know it's crazy because we kind of just was like talking about this. Why are we more likely to engage in a new dance trend than we are to get involved in politics or opening a business? Because a dance trend is fun. (laughs) And politics takes a level of intelligence that everybody don't give a fuck about. Well, I won't say it takes a level of intelligence because some people just ride with whatever politician they fucking like because they say racist shit or off the wall shit or whatever the fuck. But I feel like a reason that niggas don't really get in what to politics and shit it? is because like nigga niggas don't give a fuck about that shit nigga that mm-hmm. shit ain't going I don't know I'm speaking for niggas just from where I'm from niggas don't give a fuck about that shit cuz that shit ain't going to change shit about the current situation we in you know what I mean that shit ain't going to change shit that shit is just like some shit that people get argue about some privileged people can argue about some stupid shit that you know, ain't really going to affect us personally unless they pass a law or some shit. Secondly, what did you say? A religion or what? No, I mean, I, uh, a, <laughs> a politics. A politics uh, and what? Go, let me say it. Why don't people engage into like the politics or, or like creating businesses or just in business in general? Some people just not business savvy people. And ain't nothing wrong with that. If you're not a business savvy person, don't be sitting up here trying to be a business savvy person because everybody you know is trying to start a business. If you know you're not a business savvy person, why not just join a startup business? That way you one of the founders and you can be like, you know, when everybody, when they start eating, everybody start eating. That's and you true. at the top of the food chain instead mm-hmm. of just trying to go out here and do something. You don't know what the fuck you're doing and you don't even know how to negotiate with people. At all. Like, because that's, that's like the top, trait that you gotta have is in order to like have a business is be able to negotiate because you're gonna sit here with these people in these suits and shit they're gonna be trying to confuse you with these fucking big ass words and all this other weird ass shit that you ain't got no time all you gotta do is get you a lawyer let them worry about that shit let them break it down to you and then you straight like you ain't gotta and but if you really talented or it's something like that and you really want to you know, do something. I think entrepreneurship is the best way, but it's not only one way to start a business. I feel like in a, in a way that is, it's, this is a very important question just because like, I do feel like it's easier for us and it's outside of, well, let me just stick to the, the question at hand. It is easier for, or why people do it, like you said, is because it's fun, is uh, takes less time and is, it's easier like you know but you know i don't know at one what point in people's lives do they decide to like not take the easy ride out route out not just be like oh you know i don't know when people decide to start their business either i don't i don't know i don't know the, the, the statistics for that but i do know amongst my current age group 
none of them really have any businesses or anything going. That's cap. Uh, I said age group. I didn't say people I know, that I but knew. That's cap. T- I know well, not even people I know. I know a lot of people that's around our age got successful business. But another reason I think I don't mean to cut you off, but another reason I think people don't start businesses because like a lot of businesses fail. So you're saying people in our age group, meaning twenty five and or let's say eighteen to twenty. I'm twenty five, so eighteen to twenty five. I didn't say that there weren't any business owners. I didn't say that either because there are. But I'm saying in our age group specifically, there's less business owners. In our age group. Well, yeah. Spe- but that's what I said. You said, that's cap. That's cap. That's what I was you saying. You said people in our age group are not starting businesses. Rewind the tape, people. Uh, yeah, because I, I never make a general statement. I always say some. I okay. always say some people. Because okay, I don't want maybe anybody. You said some people. I don't want people. Well, Regardless if I said all people, some people, no people, what I'm Maybe saying is... Maybe you did say, my bad, I, my bad. Regardless of what I said, right now what I'm saying is our age group, there are people, there are less people to have a business started and in, in, up and running than there are people who are in other age groups. And, and But our age group are the ones that's on TikTok, that's TikTok famous. Or, you know, whatever. I'm not... I feel I, it. I don't feel like I'm wrong, but... I'm not saying that you're saying I'm wrong. But. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying I'm right. Now nah, this other shit. I'm just saying, like you know, it's a lot easier for us to do a dance than it is yeah. for us to, you know, turn around and start a business because the business it's like not what people think it is. People think starting a business is creating a logo and fucking making a name, and then you just gonna have these random people out of the blue just. No. Paying for your business when they can get the same thing bro, from somebody else that, that's on a bro, like higher that? scale. That's what I'm saying. That's if all you I'm think saying. That your life is must have been <laughs> a magical place. <laughs> yeah, because it ain't it ain't that easy, bro. At all. You have to advertise, and when I say you have to advertise, you have to advertise until there is no business. Like just because you get a following or you get a certain amount of customers or something, that business promotion does not stop. You have to keep going. Because you're going to lose customers And those customers or those fans that you lose You want to have that retention Those people that are still going to be coming in To kind of make your numbers be the same Or do better You never want to drop Advertisement Lawyers Get you a whole team pretty much An accountant pretty much you should If if, if you don't know anything about accounting Or get any financial Yeah get a financial pe- Those are not even expensive Like shit If this show really really jumps off That's like one of the first things that I would do Yeah No sure. I think the first thing that I think Would be smart to do is get a lawyer But then second Definitely 100% Cause Man, finances. People think, oh, I'm about to get a stack of money. Okay, bro. Do you know you got to pay all this shit first before you can get your cut? Because do you think that money is just residual and it's just it's, it's going to be residual income just specifically to you? Yeah, it ain't going to work like that. Boo boo. It ain't at all. That is mistaken. Okay, is one more question. question. Oh, oh, after your your question, my question, then yours. Okay. So three sure. more questions. Okay. So let's say. My bad. I can do my question. And go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Your question. This is the question I've been really, really wanting to ask. So, why do we call each other the N word, but get, uh, well, I don't know what that means, that word is, but why do we get, uh, wow. super, I don't know what that word is, vehemently, vehemently, whatever, V E H E M E N T L Y. But basically, yeah. Why do we call each other the N word, but get highly upset when a white person uses the N word? That's common sense. But I'm going to let you answer it first. I think the reason why we get upset, and it and it actually kind of like ties into what I was saying earlier, the reason why we get upset is when another race, such as a white person, does something that's a part of our culture, and then they do, and they take it, and they twist it, and they do whatever they want with it. That's why we get upset. Because it's not yours. Y'all have had that word. 
and used it negatively against not you in this time in this generation now but your ancestors the people the generations before you have taken that word there are fucking white people today who still use that word negatively to refer to african americans black um women and men children whoever black people and also like mexicans and and just anyone who's not white like people use that word in a very 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 derogatory is it derogatory yeah okay derogatory manner a very like it's so annoying and that's why it's upsetting because if you guys don't see the fucking pain behind that word if you don't see all the suffering that had to be done because of that word then you'll never understand why fucking people ever get upset (laughs) you'll never yeah that's true i feel like we get offended when white people or anybody of uh, outside culture uses that word it's because like you're literally doing it because you feel like you're you got a pass from X, so you're trying Sorry. to get a pass from Y and Z. That was a big cloud. You good? Sorry. So, I feel like you know, people use that word for lame purposes. People use that word just to say it sometimes, and they like you know they know it's a term <laughs> of endurement and all this other shit. But they use that shit just to kind of like be like, oh yeah. Well, I grew up around this person, so I can say it, and then it kind of becomes. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't even like people around me saying it. Cause yeah. if you're outside of culture, because I'm like, bro, it don't sound natural when you say it. Like nothing you saying is like really, oh my you know, whatever. But let's take another shot because we finna. <laughs> oh, sorry. Because we <laughs> off, off the lake, lake man. <laughs> I had to call. You good? You good? <coughs> oh shoot! Oh snizzits, snizzats. <laughs> America, something is wrong with this female, bro. <coughs> Damn, that came from the soul, didn't it? <laughs> Come on, that was get, funny. Let's kill the rest of what we got. Who? But yeah, what? <laughs> You've been bullshitting. That's what you've been bullshitting. Cause how we got the same amount? I definitely got lower than you. Yeah, don't try to pull it down. <laughs> you try to pull yours down. No, I didn't. You a cheater. You a cheater. <laughs> you be cheating on your dude. Mm. Hey, if you were Lizzie, she be cheating, bro. If you with Emery, he deaf be cheating That's on cap. my mama. <laughs> black men don't cheat. Man. <laughs> black, black men do not cheat. <laughs> you right. <laughs> I know. I was ready to hit that button. Next thing you said... Oh, I thought you was going to say something. Black men do cheat. <laughs> Hell no. To the no, no, no. Yeah, to the no. Yeah, to the no. To the no, no, no. no. <laughs> Damn. 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 Yeah, I didn't just see that. You be all right. But yeah, so <clears throat> my question to you is it's kind of deep. I ain't mean to get this oh, deep, man, but it's kind of deep. Through it. It, ain't, oh. it ain't nothing like that. What is the most important trait that you think a person should change about themselves? How they communicate. Explain. So I I feel like communi- with um in in a person, when you exude anything, I feel like you should exude communication good communication if you know how to communicate good everything else will come naturally in any relationship any relationship it doesn't have to be romantic doesn't have to be solely your family doesn't have to be just your friends anything like i feel like you know how to communicate that's when you can have that honesty that's when you can have that trust that's where that's when you can even you can't even build anything off of without communication like literally it's like a, a game of Jenga. The whole shit gonna come down eventually. So why not build it up right? That's true. Also with communication. It's kind of a sub. Uh, pretty much a sub form like of a, communication. Yeah. I was gonna say comprehension to be more specific. Because in every aspect of life, you gotta be able to comprehend any information that's given to you. In your relationship, you got to be able to comprehend, okay, what is this person telling me? 
regardless to what the fuck they're saying, what is this person trying to say? What is this person actually saying? Two, it's like if you like even in like business situations and shit like that, you got to be able to comprehend what the fuck they saying because they're gonna sit in front of you, smile in your face, and be like, "Yeah, we trying to um, legally rob you with this corporation because we want you to like be in like this type of situation." You just got to be able to comprehend every, you know, situation. Even like down to the smallest shit. Like, let's say you in your hood or whatever, and you around like you know, whatever the fuck you around. You got to be able to comprehend what's going on around you. You can't be like oblivious to whatever the fuck is going on. Like you know, around you. You just got to be kind of, you know, be able to comprehend everything. So and you don't have to communicate everything that you comprehend. It's just like okay, I know what's going on around me. You feel me? So I'm gonna move this way. No, yeah, we're definitely saying the same thing because um, actually, like uh, comprehension is actually one of the skills of communication. So it is a yeah. sub component of the actual thing itself, which is yeah. communication. So communication is being able to listen, be able to understand, and be able to re peek back so being able to request and accept requests that's what communication <clears throat> is. that's what effective communication is and that's why i think that is like one of the most important traits that i look for in in any type of relationship like when i'm now that i'm older and i'm able to choose my relationship with my family that's something i look for in fucking family like we don't have to communicate so people think talking every day is like communication good communication no when we do talk how are we talking are we are we yeah. fighting because we don't understand each other because we're not listening or we're not uh, speaking to like listen we're speaking to just respond or are we actually listening and, and understanding each other's feelings and emotions? That's how you're able to build a good relationship. That's, That's why communication is so important. So important. I agree. And last but not least, what's the most important observation you can say that you've learned up to this point in your life? observation well let me change it because you could go anywhere with that what's the most important advice that you've gotten you know it's so sad to say this but and i know a lot of times like people are gonna be like oh lizzie's capping i'm not I, I really haven't gotten no useful advice as an adult any time, like I'm, no, I'm at your whole a, time of life. As, like, what's the most important advice that you've ever got? My most important advice that I've ever gotten was to always treat people kind. Like, regardless of how people treat you, always treat you kind because at the end of the day, God is the you know. And I, I don't like to always bring religion into it, but this was what taught to me. There is a higher power that deals with people who don't treat people kindly, and I That's always true. take that with me no matter what. Regardless if you believe that there is a God up there, just know that there is a higher power. I believe it's God. I know it's God. But there is a higher power up there or somewhere that is it definitely handles people who treat people unkindly, who do bad onto people. So that is a very important thing that I actually did learn as a child. So, yes. Okay. What about you? The most important thing that I've learned, and maybe it's going to sound kind of crazy, but the most important thing... I have ever learned in my life and it was very useful uh context or whatever the fuck I was going through at a time and it wasn't it's gonna come off like it sound kind of bad but it was really like a good form of advice somebody told me that don't nobody give a fuck that's so true don't nobody give a fuck you gotta think about it they don't if you one of them people that like you know are I like one of them people think like one of them people that like everything somebody say to you or like you know every little you know situation you want to vent to everybody you want to tell everybody hey look this was going on in my life this mm -hmm. don't nobody give a fuck everybody got their own problems that they're trying to tend to mm -hmm. you sitting up there being woe is me and all this other shit that ain't gonna do nothing but single you out and make people just not want to be around you because i ain't gonna cap i don't want to be around nobody that's complaining about life 24 yeah. 7 don't nobody really give a fuck like everybody got their own shit they going through you feel me everybody you know as long as you treat people to like kind of like what you were saying as long as you treat people the right way 
and like keep it moving like that's probably the most important thing it is in life because at the end of the day you crying to everybody about oh this happened to me this happened to me yeah they might be empathetic a little bit but at the same time at the end of the day don't nobody give a fuck if you finna lose everything people just gonna be like oh damn maybe you just made bad decisions with your opportunities or something like that or you know what i mean what you gotta say i wouldn't say that because <clears throat> taking i just i definitely think that you know i agree with you 100 percent, right but i definitely think that that is one of those um i'm sorry it's subjective obviously it depends on the person it depends on the relationship with that yeah, person. yeah, yeah. that part but yeah. i'm saying like but as far general, as like in general like no, yeah that absolutely right people don't give a fuck Think about, take your work for example bro the, bro like the moment that you fuck up or something so badly and your boss lets you go guess what your replacement was already there or just walked in as you left like come yeah. on now we already know that people just genuinely don't give a fuck you can tell your boss that you the reason why you're late every every day is because your car got caught on a fire and you have to take the bus and the bus always come and there's no other bus and once you if your bus your boss is an asshole because he really don't give a fuck that's no problem with his. Exactly. At all. You're just going to be out of a job, no car, still taking the bus. People just brings, don't give a fuck. And this brings me back to the kind of the, the Delonte West shit. It's just like he was a millionaire. A lot of people's thing is like, okay, he made a million dollars. He fucked off his money. That's on him. We don't give a fuck about his mental health issues or whatever the fuck. You know, that's just on him. That's so sad too. You and gotta that's figure really that how shit it out. is. That's so sad, but that's really how it is. Yeah, but the fact that somebody let me know that shit at an early age, I was like, I started moving different. So that way, like, you know, <coughs> I know how to move pretty <coughs> much. Me. I definitely think um with that statement and just in life in general, um, you know, how I would love to end this episode is what is the biggest advice you can give the viewers? Okay, or I'm gonna people let you go watching first. in general. I'm gonna let so, you go first. My biggest advice that I can, <clears throat> just based off of everything that we talked about on the show so far, 25 episodes in, um, everything that we talked about in this episode, I, my biggest advice is to go out in the world and live your life according to you, and just know that you are not in complete control of your life. There is always going to be a higher power that kind of, you know, everything's in place for a reason. A lot of people think, oh my God, like today's my lucky day. And it's just like, it feels lucky because that was already designed for you. Like, yeah. and, and that's why it's there. Cause you know, one day we might be lucky and the next day we'd be like, damn, like what the fuck happened? Like it be like that. So my biggest advice is just go out, live your life. Right. But don't live your life according to anyone but yourself. Like, so that means, People don't give a fuck. So don't live your life trying to wonder what people are going to give a fuck about. Because 9 times out of 10, they're not going to care. You, The only how you can make people care is if, if you go and do something with, with that knowledge and that, that will that you have and build some shit. That's how you get people to listen. Being in a face crying about your personal life, that people, like you said, people going to be empathetic. And people are going to be like, oh, that sucks, you know, like, come crash with me for two, three days or whatever. But eventually, people are going to stop caring, but like, get your shit together. You're yeah. not doing anything <laughs> to move forward. So yeah. keep moving forward. Do not let, let these life obstacles get you down and stop you from being who you are and allowing yourself to lean on other people and, and, and not fucking realizing, like, shit, I'm strong. Like, I can do this shit. Like, damn, I don't have to cry to him every day. He got his own life. He got his own shit going on. What, what am I telling him for? Because that's going to make him care more? No. Not how life works. Biggest advice. Biggest advice. Shout out, Lizzie. Talking that shit. Biggest advice. I guess I could say my biggest advice is. Hmm, what can I? No, nah, I can't ask you. What could my advice bro, be? Bro, take but, the shit that your parents give you as a child, that knowledge that they fucking give you, bro. Yeah. Bro. I would say my biggest. My best advice is just be yourself. Don't try to do X, Y, and Z because this person is doing X, Y, and Z. Don't try to step out of your comfort zone just to try to be like somebody else. Don't compare your shit to everybody else because at the end of the day, everybody got their own like story. Everybody got their own road. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Only thing you can do is be yourself. And at the end of the day, if you're in a situation where you can't be yourself, then you like obviously in the wrong space. Yeah, you need I, to feel like you can yeah. always be yourself 100 percent 
You need to always stay true to yourself. If you feel like you one way, just be that person. Because the minute you start trying to be somebody else, Excuse people me, can see through that. People going, you know. Yeah. People definitely can spot out unrealistic characteristics. A hundred percent. I think uh, something I want to say this really quickly. Another really, really, really good thing that I've learned as a child, like growing up in my adolescent years or whatever, was that um, use your five W's or whatever the fuck for any situation, any, any relationship, bro. That shit really do be like, who are they? What do they want? Like, why are they here? Like, or if it came down to you in a situation, why am I going? What what, what would be my purpose? When is this taking place? How, how who gonna be there like you can really use that shit and i remember like and i won't forget I, my t-shirt she was black you know and i love when black people look out for black people but i love when people look out for people in general but she, that's what she said to me and it, it really do you really be catching yourself thinking like and that's why a lot of times you find yourself as an adult not going out that's probably why <laughs> you you like analyze the 100%. whole thing <laughs> yeah. you was like mm. Like, wait, for yeah, me. I don't really fuck with these niggas like that. So why would um, I go out and pretend that's not my aura? That's not yeah. my energy. So. I don't really know these niggas like that. I'm you not trying me? to. So I'm going to stay in my house where it's peace and quiet. On that note, we out this bitch. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You feel me? And who's next to be in the hot seat? There who's was nobody in the hot seat. <laughs> yeah, man. We, was, we, we getting it out the mud, man. Cozy. We getting it. Yeah, man. It's cold in here too, so kind of like sit close to me because it's cold. Anyway, every time I bring a sweater, bro, every time I have a sweater, I promise you it's hot and I'm about to strip and I'm like, shit, I didn't wear the proper shirt underneath or I didn't wear no fucking bra, so I can't just wear my titties out. God so damn, then I just really be going through it. And then every time I'm like, okay, next week I'm not going to come with this fucking in the shit. Be cold. Be cold. Anyways, Sorry. make sure y'all like, subscribe, Dead Man video coming out. When this come out, it's going to be like, what, Friday? Yeah. So, yeah, Happy Dead Friday. Man video <laughs> coming out Friday, you feel me? We should, I'm going to talk to you. Go ahead. What's up? No, no, keep going. Yeah, man, Friday, Dead Man music video coming out. Make sure y'all fuck with that. You feel me? Fuck a deal is out now. All streaming platforms, make sure y'all fuck with that. Other than that, if Lizzie ain't got shit else, we gone. Um, you know how I always say, go ahead and comment down like something you guys want to talk about or whatnot or just something you want to see. Even if it's not down below this video, even like just DM us on Instagram. My Instagram is goddess of peace underscore. It will be delayed, displayed, <laughs> sorry, displayed on the screen so you don't have to try to spell. So goddess of peace underscore. His Instagram is King Emery, my man, man. Period. And we are out. We got this out. On the phone, so to sleep, I can't fight it. Locked in my mode, I feel like I'm indicted. All turning cold, and I think that I like it. Look at my drip, got these hoes all inside it. They tried to kill me, the fire ignited, and I beat the bullet. These niggas ain't like me. They think I'm a demon, I'm really enlightened. When I hit the block, I hit.